The facts that we know today about space would not be possible without the remarkable work of NASA, or officially the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Now we know that Mars water is much more enriched than terrestrial ocean water. We've traveled a long way since the start of the space age, and since then, the discoveries made range from outrageous to downright freaky. NASA sends probes into space to study things inside and beyond our solar system. So there appears to be no end in sight to learning about the universe around us. And we're cool with that. 15 mysterious NASA discoveries that will leave you speechless. Number 15. Water on Mars. NASA's Trace Gas Orbiter, or TIGO, has spotted significant amounts of water at the heart of Mars's dramatic canyon system, Veos Marineris, and if NASA didn't capture this, no one would believe it. While water is known to exist on Mars, most is found in the planet's cold polar regions as ice. Missions have hunted for near-surface water as ice covering dust grains in the soil or locked up in minerals at lower latitudes of Mars and found small amounts. However, such studies have only explored the very surface of the planet. Deeper water stores could exist, covered by dust. The TIGO can look beyond this dusty layer and see what's really going on below Mars's surface, and crucially locate water-rich areas that couldn't be detected with previous instruments. The orbiter revealed an area with an unusually large amount of water in the Colossal Canyon system. Assuming the hydrogen we see is bound into water molecules, as much as 40% of the near-surface material in this region appears to be water. The water-rich area is about the size of the Netherlands. Plus, scientists confirmed the existence of several large saltwater lakes under ice in the south polar region of the planet. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Space Heartbeat Astronomers have detected a mysterious radio signal that is pulsing rhythmically in deep space, kind of like a heartbeat. The signal is a fast radio burst, or FRB, an intensely strong flash of radio waves coming from an unknown point of origin. Fast radio bursts discharge more energy in a few milliseconds than the sun does in a year. Most FRBs last only a few milliseconds at most, but the new signal is much longer, about three seconds making it the longest FRB ever discovered. Moreover, it produces bursts of radio waves that repeat every 200 milliseconds in a heartbeat-like rhythm, making it the FRB with the clearest periodic pattern ever detected. Astronomers have long puzzled over the source of these sudden bright flashes, but because FRBs erupt predominantly from galaxies millions or even billions of light years away and flare quickly and often only once, Scientists have struggled to identify the sources of these bursts. There are not many things in the universe that emit signals like this. Examples that we know of in our own galaxy are radio pulsars and magnetars, which rotate and produce a beamed emission similar to a lighthouse. And NASA thinks this new signal could be a magnetar or pulsar on steroids. Number 13. Noodles on Mars NASA's Perseverance rover has discovered a fascinating piece of debris which is in the shape of noodles. Of course, it's not edible. However, the scientists were unable to determine the exact nature of the object. It's being said that it could be junk from NASA's Mars mission. The rover was sent to Mars to look for ancient signs of life. It landed and has been since exploring the planet, collecting rocks and sending back vital information. Earlier, as well, the rover captured a shiny object on the floor of Mars' Jezero crater, which turned out to be a piece of junk. In fact, space junk happens to be a very common problem when it comes to space travel, especially pertaining to Mars. A lot of junk originates from the expedition rovers sent from Earth. There have been instances where the rover's pictures showed massive amounts of junk from the wreckages. The rover spotted the spaghetti-shaped piece of debris and it left researchers scratching their heads. It's thought the bit of metal comes from one of the rover's front-facing hazard avoidance cameras. These cameras help to keep an eye on the landscape to protect the rover when it's driving or using its robotic arm. Pretty soon, they might have to send another rover up there to clean up the trash. Number 12. Moon Plants In the early days of the space age, astronauts brought samples of the lunar surface material back to Earth where they could be studied with state-of-the-art equipment and saved for future research not yet imagined. 
Years later, at the dawn of the Artemis era and the next astronauts returned to the moon, three of those samples have been used to successfully grow plants. For the first time ever, researchers have grown plants in the nutrient-poor lunar soil. Using just a few teaspoons from the Apollo missions, this tiny lunar garden will have a huge impact on NASA's Artemis program returning humans to the moon, helping pave the way for life there. This research is critical to NASA's long-term human exploration goals as we'll need to use resources found on the Moon and Mars to develop food sources for future astronauts living and operating in deep space. Plus, this plant growth research is also a key example of how NASA is working to unlock agricultural innovations that could help us understand how plants might overcome stressful conditions in food-scarce areas here on Earth. Plants can grow in lunar soil. They were not as robust as plants grown in Earth soil, but they did indeed grow. Number 11. Spaghettification It's not what you're thinking. It's astrophysics. Spaghettification, sometimes referred to as the noodle effect, is the vertical stretching and horizontal compression of objects into long, thin shapes, rather like spaghetti, in a very long gravitational field. It's caused by extreme tidal forces. Legendary scientist Stephen Hawking described the flight of a fictional astronaut who, passing within a black hole's event horizon, is stretched like spaghetti by the gravitational gradient from head to toe. The reason this happens would be that the gravity force exerted by the singularity would be much stronger at one end of the body than at the other. If one were to fall into a black hole feet first, the gravity at their feet would be much stronger than at their head, causing the person to be vertically stretched. Along with that, the right side of the body will be pulled to the left, and the left side of the body will be pulled up to the right horizontally compressing the person. In the most extreme cases, near a black hole, the stretching and compression are so powerful that no object can resist it. Spaghettification of a star was imaged for the first time in 2018 by researchers observing a pair of colliding galaxies approximately 150 million light years from Earth. Number 10. Pillars of Creation This famous photograph, taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, is named the Pillars of Creation because the gas and dust are in the process of creating new stars, while also being eroded by the light from nearby stars that have recently formed. It looks like elephant trunks of interstellar gas and dust in the Eagle Nebula, in the Serpent's constellation up to 7,000 light years from Earth. Taken on April 1, 1995, it's one of the most famous photographs ever. The image is noted for its global cultural impact, with the image has been featured on everything, from t-shirts to coffee mugs. So why were the pillars dubbed the Pillars of Creation? Because they're the birthplace of an unforetold number of new stars. The pillars, composed entirely of gas and dust, have such high densities that the resulting gravity causes the gas to contract and form new stars. Now, this may surprise some of you. After all, stars are enormous, and it might seem impossible that the pillars could even hope to contain them. Think again. In fact, to describe the length of the pillars, we have to resort to light years. The leftmost pillar is an estimated four light years in length. That's NASA's way of describing what huge means. It has to be in order to create stars. Number 9. Captain Kirk William Shatner, the actor who originated the role of Captain Kirk on Star Trek, may not have gone where no man has gone before, but he has touched the sky. The actor declared himself overwhelmed at becoming the oldest human in space at the age of 90 during a brief but successful second crewed flight recently of Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket ship from the West Texas desert. He broke down in tears at the landing site as he described the private space company's founder, the Amazon tycoon Jeff Bezos, the significance of his almost 11-minute leap to the stars. Bezos, who has sold $100 million in tickets for future rides and aims to dominate the fledgling space tourism industry, acted as chauffeur for Shatner and his colleagues on the morning's short drive from Blue Origin's crew headquarters to the launch pad. Blue Origin has conducted more than a dozen uncrewed test flights of New Shepard, and Bezos decided to put himself on the first ever crewed flight in part to demonstrate that he trusts his own life with Blue Origin's technology. Shatner's flight marked the second of what Blue Origin hopes will be many space tourism launches, carrying wealthy thrill-seekers to the edge of space. Number 8. Odd Radio Circles These hazy, circular shapes are unlike anything seen before, which is why scientists have dubbed them Odd Radio Circles, or ORCs. Astronomers recently uncovered the strange radio objects lurking in the deep sky. First discovered in 2019, the mysterious objects seem to be rare. 
The current tally of known ORCs sits at five, but despite the limited sample size, researchers have been able to learn that ORCs, which only seem to emit light at radio wavelengths, reside far beyond our galaxy. They're also anything but small. At about one million light years across, they're roughly ten times wider than our Milky Way. So how do they form? The new observations also revealed a tiny dot in the very center of the nebulous ORC. That small source, which also pops out in images taken at other wavelengths, is a galaxy. Although not confirmed, scientists are fairly certain that this is the galaxy responsible for giving birth to it. These findings have led astronomers to suspect that something happened to the ORC's central galaxy about a billion years ago, causing it to send out a powerful shock wave through the intergalactic space that surrounds it. As electrons wrap around the magnetic fields threading through space, they emit radio waves, producing the shiny ring we see today. Number 7. High Definition Telescope NASA has finally revealed its first images from this space-based observatory, the largest space telescope in history, the James Webb Space Telescope. And it's mind-blowing and mind-expanding. Decades of work, $10 billion in spending and nearly 14 billion years of comic history have brought us to this moment, the first science from the largest and most powerful observatory ever built. What makes the images it captures so epic is how small it is and how large it is at the same time. It's small in the sense that an image represents only a teensy tiny portion of the night sky, but it's huge in the sense that nearly every object in this high definition image is a galaxy like the one Earth is floating in right now. The very faintest, smallest blips of light in these photos are images of galaxies as they existed more than 13 billion years ago, near the very beginning of time. That very light has been traveling through space ever since. This telescope lets us see that in every pinprick of sky, there are thousands and thousands of galaxies, at least. And not only can we now capture images of galaxies this old, the space telescope can make measurements about what elements those early galaxies are composed of. Number 6. Secret Parachute Code New video from NASA's Mars rover chronicles major milestones during the final minutes of its entry, descent, and landing as the spacecraft plummeted parachuted and rocketed toward the surface of Mars. From the moment of parachute inflation, the camera system covers the entirety of the descent process, showing some of the rover's intense ride to Mars' Jezero crater. The footage from high-definition cameras aboard the spacecraft starts seven miles above the surface, showing the supersonic deployment of the most massive parachute ever sent to another world, and ends with the rover's touchdown in the crater. The inflated parachute can be spotted at around 15 seconds. The camera provides a full view of the red and white design of the parachute, showing varying lengths of colored columns presented in concentric rings. While many spectators moved along to the landing itself, other eagle-eyed viewers paused the video to examine the frame and decipher the pattern. It revealed, dare mighty things to be the secret message that was inscribed in the parachute. It's the motto used by the Perseverance team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory the research and development center that served as headquarters for the Perseverance rover mission. Number 5. The Cube House Scientists have been exploring the far side of the moon since early 2019 as part of a lunar lander mission, and now they have their eyes set on this strange-looking cube-shaped object. The nickname for this cube-shaped object on the moon is the Mystery House, and it was discovered approximately 250 feet in front of the rover. The mission represents the first surface exploration of the far side of the moon. The rover's work has helped scientists learn about what's happening with the geology under the lunar surface, and it's already traveled over 2,500 feet across the moon's surface. Its next jaunt should shed some light on the cube structure. So far, the view of the cube is fuzzy and far off, so the object's true nature should become clear as the rover gets closer. In the mission landing area, one of the largest and oldest craters in the solar system, there are not many rocks, so it'll be quite interesting to see how this mystery unfolds. But alien enthusiasts immediately suggested that it might be some monolith stuck to the surface of the moon, left there by an alien civilization. The most likely explanation is a boulder. This part of the moon is pockmarked with impact craters, which can feature quite a bit of chunky debris. Number 4. Seven-Year Wave Scientists have detected a completely new type of magnetic wave that surges through Earth's outer core every seven years, warping the strength of our planet's magnetic field in the process. Volcanic eruptions remind us that the inside of our planet isn't exactly peaceful, but there's plenty of undiscovered activity beneath our feet. The waves, dubbed Magneto Coriolis, move along the Earth's axis of rotation, 
creeping from east to west in tall columns that can travel up to 930 miles per year. Using a fleet of satellites, the team pinpointed the mysterious waves to the outermost layer of Earth's liquid outer core, right where that layer meets the rocky mantle, roughly 1,800 miles below the planet's surface. According to the researchers, the existence of these waves could help explain mysterious fluctuations in the planet's magnetic field, which is generated by the movement and liquid iron in the planet's outer core. Satellite measurements of the magnetic field show that the field's strength dips every seven years or so, coinciding with the oscillations of these newfound waves. The source of these waves remains a mystery for now, but they likely stem from disturbances deep within the Earth's core. Number 3. Mars Trash Deep-sea explorers have found trash in the deepest ocean at some 35,700 feet beneath the surface. There's also trash on Mars. While looking for hints of past microbial Martian life, NASA's Perseverance rover recently spotted strange debris caught in a jagged rock. Its thermal material the space agency used to protect the Perseverance spacecraft from extreme temperatures as it journeyed to Mars. However, a looming question is how the foil-like debris found its way to this region in Mars's Jezero crater some 1.2 miles from where landing gear crashed in the Martian desert. Did this piece of debris land here after that, or was it blown here by the wind on the red planet? The Perseverance rover expertly landed on Mars, but on its way down, the spacecraft holding the rover ditched a variety of instruments and objects, including a heat shield, a supersonic parachute, and a rocket-powered sky crane that lowered the rover to the ground. The car-sized robot has already rumbled by its jettisoned parachute, so it's not terribly surprising the rover now stumbled by more landing debris. Of course, everyone is making the same comment about humans leaving waste wherever they go. We've now started to dump our crap on other planets, commented one person online. Number 2. Alien Megastructure Since its discovery, this celestial anomaly has garnered a lot of attention. Aliens? Potentially. That seems to be the first place everyone's mind goes when talking about Tabby Star. And who wouldn't? Tabby Star is a cosmic object that's located approximately 1,500 light years from Earth. Tabby Star has provoked so much excitement with speculation that it hosts a highly advanced civilization capable of building orbiting megastructures to capture the star's energy. But it's not an alien megastructure. As implied in its name, it is, in fact, a star. It has been observed since around 1890. What makes this star so special is the star exhibits a huge drop in brightness, or flux, but with no corresponding drops in infrared emissions, which has not been observed before. The dips in flux occur slowly over time, although some short-term dips have also been noted. No other stars we've come across appear to behave in this manner, and since it's gone viral, Tabby Star has set the internet ablaze, causing wild speculation and theories that would make for excellent science fiction films. Yet, what does science have to say about Tabby Star? If another star happened to pass nearby, then its gravity could disturb the star, creating all those weird dips. But the Tabby Star remains a mystery. Number 1. Roaming Black Hole It's now well known that supermassive black holes are common in the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They have millions or billions of times our sun's mass, and recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has found evidence of a wandering black hole light years away in the Milky Way galaxy. The wandering black hole currently resides about 5,200 light years from Earth in what's called a stellar mass black hole, one that contains the critical mass, at least a few times our sun's mass, needed to cause an ordinary star to collapse into a black hole. Although scientists had assumed they exist, finding solitary stellar mass black holes is not easy. This is largely due to the fact that they're essentially invisible against the background of space. The researchers estimated that the black hole is 7.1 times the mass of the sun. Its event horizon, the boundary divining the region of space around a black hole from which nothing, not even light, can escape, would be around 26 miles across. That's a really small black hole compared to the monster in the center of our galaxy. It's also wandering really fast, about 28 miles per second. The further we explore space, the deeper it gets, and the more we find out. That's the best part of space exploration. The knowledge is as vast as the universe itself, which is a little scary if you think about it. 